Asbestos fibers are much finer than a human hair and are invisible to the naked eye. When they are released, they float in the air and are then sometimes breathed in by human beings. The human body is equipped with two defense mechanisms against foreign bodies that are breathed in. First, some foreign bodies are trapped by the mucous membrane of the respiratory tract and removed by ciliary movement. This prevents them from being carried further into the body. Small foreign particles that get past the first defense mechanism and reach the alveoli inside the lungs are removed by macrophages, which engulf and digest them. Macrophages, which are a kind of white blood cell, constitute the second defense mechanism. But asbestos fibers are extremely fine and are shaped like needles, so even long ones pass through the first defense mechanism and reach the alveoli via the bronchioles. The macrophage has a hard time engulfing these long asbestos fibers, so it releases digestive enzymes outside the cell, setting up an inflammation in order to summon reinforcements. But this simply damages the surrounding healthy lung tissue. The tough asbestos fiber is not removed. If the inflammation and consequent damage persist over a long period, the result is that the lung becomes fibrotic. That is, it hardens and loses elasticity. And if damage to the lung tissue continues over a long period, so that the DNA of the cells lining the interior of the bronchi and the pulmonary alveoli is damaged, lung cancer eventually develops. Over a long period, iron protein attaches itself to some of the asbestos fibers that have collected in the lung, and they take on a characteristic iron dumbbell shape. These are called asbestos bodies. These asbestos bodies do not constitute a disease by themselves, but their presence is important evidence of past exposure to asbestos. Some of the inhaled asbestos fibers do not remain in the lung, but proceed as far as the pleura. When fibrosis of parts of the parietal pleura occurs, characteristic lumps of hardened and thickened tissue called pleural plaques are found. Like asbestos bodies, these pleural plaques are not a specific disease, but their presence is important evidence of exposure to asbestos. Damage caused by asbestos fibers to the DNA of the mesothelial cells lining the pleura over a long period leads to the appearance of malignant tumors called mesothelioma.